the lady from Anka. International Affair. The lady from Anka. The lady. Hi, today I'm going to take a look at creating a Google account using a third party email address. A third party email address is any email address that is not a Gmail. And I'm starting at YouTube, but you can start at any Google product that has a sign in link. And I'm going to click top right hand side where it says sign in. And on the next page, I'm going to click on create an account. And the option I'm going to go for is for myself because it is the most generic and probably the most useful in my situation. Now I'm going to be asked to enter my first and last name, my email address that I want to use, my third party email address, set up a password and then click on next. So let's do that. So here's my first and last name, my email address, which is a third party one. Note that I also have the option to create a Google account using a Gmail instead, but I'd rather use my third party email address. I want to set myself a password. And then I'm going to click on next and then I'm going to have to verify my email address. Now I don't have to verify a Google account when I'm creating a Gmail for it, but I do have to verify my third party email address just to make sure that I have access to it. So I'm just going to verify this and I'm going to do that by going to my Outlook email address and I'm going to get the code that I have received to it and click on next. So now I have the option to enter a, an optional phone number and this would be something that I could use for recovery purposes, but know that it's optional. I don't have to do that. And I'm being asked to enter my date of birth, gender. And there is the link here to, to check why this sort of stuff is being asked for. And if you go through it, you will see that it's very important that you give your name. The username, well, that could be a Gmail, but in this case, the username is actually the third party email address. And in, in my case, the schedule mark two at outlook.com. Password is obvious. Then the date of birth, because of the fact that Google uses your birthday to qualify you for certain products. For example, YouTube, you have to be of a certain age. You have to be at least 13 in some countries, even older in order to even have a YouTube channel. Yeah, your phone number. Now this is optional, but it says it's highly recommended. I wish it said that on the front page. Um, it is used for recovery. And it's not just if you forget your password, but it's also if there are some security issues. Learn more about how these phone numbers are used, for example. Then your current email address. So if you already have a, an email address, we recommend that you add it. Um, in this case, unless you are certain that you won't lose access to your third party email address, which is also the primary email address for this particular Google account that you're creating, I would suggest that you get yourself another email address to to add to that at a later stage. Um, the current email address will be the default recovery email address because Google assumes that even if you can't access your Google account, which uses that particular third party email address, you might be able to or should be able to access the inbox of your third party email address so that you can receive recovery codes to it. And you also have the option to change this information later. OK, so that is an important bit of information to read. And it's certainly worth clicking on this link and just making sure. So I'm going to proceed here on click on next. And I'm going to choose the the express personalization is just one step. I'm going to read through these personalized settings and my cookies. And I have read this before because I have several Google accounts. So I'm just going to click confirm. 
and then I'm going to be asked to read the privacy and terms of service. Now, this is incredibly important. So don't just rush through this. Do read it. Do try and understand it. A lot of it is common sense, but some of it relates to law. And unfortunately, Google, like any other online site, must abide by the prevailing laws. And lastly, I agree. This is really important to note that when you create a Google account, you're entering your first and last name. You're entering your date of birth and you are clicking on I agree, not we agree. So your Google account is representative of you personally. And it is really important that you don't share access to it. If you do, if you give somebody else access to your Google account, not only are you basically doing that in contravention of Google policy, but you're actually also allowing that person to act as you. So if they then choose to lock you out by changing the password or even deleting the Google account, that is basically the responsibility for that is something that you bear. So bear that in mind. I'm going to click on I agree. And there we are. I have created a Google account using my schedule mark to at outlook.com email address and that is my Google accounts username and now I have the option to create a YouTube channel or go to Google and manage my account. Thank you for listening and goodbye.